Hey friends, in this video, I will be showing you how you can get your website up and running for completely free in under 10 minutes. And this will be a website which you can share with your friends with your own custom URL. So without further ado, let's get into it. First, let me walk you through what we will be doing today. We will first make a website and then host that website using GitHub, which is free for personal use and also provides us with a free domain, which is cool since we do not have to pay anything. We will also use Visual Studio Code, which is our text editor of choice. It is not mandatory and you may use any other code editor or even simply notepad as well but visual studio code makes things a little easier and also more pleasant to see now let me take you to my computer screen so let's start with creating a folder for the files of our website i'll name it website and inside of this folder we will keep all of our website files now we'll not create those files ourselves instead we will download a template from the internet that we will modify and use so i'll go to chrome and search for free html website templates and you'll see there are a ton of options to choose from. So I'll just open any of these and you can download whichever you like. I like this one a lot. So I'll just go ahead and download this file. And now it's downloaded. So I'll go ahead and open this zip file as well. And inside of this folder, these are our website files. I'll copy these and paste it inside our website folder. Now we can edit any of these files as we like it. So I'll open it with Visual Studio Code and I'll first also open this with Chrome just to see how it looks. So this is how this website looks and we can make the required changes. So let's say wherever Josh is written, I'll change that to Nikhil Shoran. So I'll just find Josh and replace it with Nikhil Shoran and I'll do this throughout the website. Now I'll save it and refresh this page in Chrome. You can see Josh is now replaced with Nikhil everywhere. So basically we can change anything here. Let's say we want to change this paragraph. So we'll go back to Visual Studio Code and find this text and change it to Hey, this is my new website. And I'll save this and go back and refresh to see if it changed. So this way I can change anything on this website while maintaining the design. But now let's move on to the next part which is hosting. For hosting, we'll use GitHub and I've already signed in with my GitHub account. Now I'll create a new repository and the repository name should match exactly this format, your username.github.io. And we'll also add a readme file and create this repository. So now a repository has been created and we will add files to a repository that we want to be published on our website. And by the way, this is our website subdomain nikhilshoran06.github.io So I'll go back and first close everything and go back to our folder and drag and drop all of these files here. And now wait until it uploads. So the files have been uploaded now. I'll click on commit changes. Now this will take some time to process our files. So I'll just keep refreshing this page. And the files have been added but you can see a brown dot here. This brown dot needs to change to a green tick before our website is live. So if I click on this it says some checks haven't been completed yet. So let's give this some time to complete. And I'll keep refreshing this meanwhile. I'll refresh it once again. And now you can see a green tick here, which means our website is live now. So let's visit it at nikhilshoran06.github.io. And as you can see, this website has now been published. And you can see all the changes I did here. So that was it for today's video. If you found the video helpful, smash that like button and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.